both me and my dog hate fix and uh, now I found a product that can prevent fix without any medication this I will take a closer look at in this video I now have found a product I haven't seen in Sweden before and uh, Daniel, can you please tell me a little bit about uh, your product? Yes, uh, it's an ultrasonic tick and flea repellent product, which means it's non-chemical, it's uh, environmental friendly, therefore. It's been invented uh, in Italy uh, quite, a, quite a long time, 10 years ago, and uh, we've been picking up this product around 6-7 years uh, ago. And uh, we have uh, made it firstly uh, for, for pets, for dogs and cats, because that's a preventive product. And before all uh, effective products, chemicals, which we all know, spot-ons, uh, they were good to kill away the ticks and, and fleas. But the, uh, the problem was that the tick always needed to bite uh, the dog first to die off. And that's why they, uh, in Italy they were looking for a solution which is preventive. So that's a preventive solution. It's disturbing the way how ticks and fleas are detecting the environment. Um, ticks are using uh, the two front legs. Uh, they have eyes, but they are blind. They use the two front legs because the Haller's organ, uh, which is there for detection, it's located here on the front legs. And uh, they can feel heat of the body, uh, CO2 when you are breathing. They can feel vibration in the air. And uh, this is how they get a full picture of uh, what's going on or where is my food, or what do I need to attack. And uh, you know about ticks that ticks can, uh, uh, some people think that they are different ticks. It's mainly one species that we have, uh, but we have the very tiny ones, these are larves, we have the medium ones, which are nymph, and the big ones, which are adults. And they all need to suck blood in order to transform in the next stage. So that's why they are dangerous, and that's why they want to suck blood. And um, yes, uh, it, the, the ultrasound is, uh, is uh, repelling them, or keeping them away. Yeah. And so uh, this means that uh, if I use this and travel, for instance, to Africa and hunt there, it's the same principle. I can use this uh, oh, yes. on all over the world. Yes, exactly. Because uh, simply the way how ticks are made up, uh, all ticks are using the Haller's organ to detect the environment. And that's why it, uh, it will disturb also uh, uh, ticks in South Africa or ticks in Brazil. Uh, but uh, to be sure, we have made also uh, tests in, uh, in South America, just to understand if ticks are behaving different or not. But uh, we, it turned out that it's, it's the same way how uh, ticks, are, uh, ticks are finding uh, the host. I like this idea very much because I, I try to avoid to give my dogs like uh, medical uh, treatment to, uh, for the ticks. I like the idea very much. Uh, I can see that you have uh, for humans and you have for uh, pets. Does this differ anything or is it the same product? Oh yes, that's, uh, uh, the, the thing is that ultrasound is not made for uh, pets or for humans, it's made against ticks and fleas. Yeah. Which means that uh, whatever, uh, if you like to use it, uh, let's say on your little uh, child, uh, you can do it. Um, because the only difference is that uh, the smaller one has a range of 1.5 meters and the bigger one has a range of 3 meters. And uh, we have one more difference, uh, uh, this one you cannot switch on and off. Because uh, uh, dogs or pets are in danger of ticks and fleas, uh, and as we know that ticks are outside, fleas can be as well inside your home. And uh, that's why it needs to be worn 24 hours a day. Uh, but here with the, with the, let's say the human version, um, you, uh, you can switch on and off. Uh, because uh, you know exactly when you go out and then you, you turn it on, you can use it, you will be, um, uh, you will be um, uh, safe of ticks, but uh, humans has no problem with fleas, so that's why it, it, it does need to be worn also inside the house. Okay, so if I use this as a hunter and I turn it on when I go out hunting, turn it off, uh, approximately how many, how many hours of uh, lifetime or uh, how many days of lifetime does this have? It will, for a regular hunter it will last at least for, uh, for one year. If you, if you are, uh, let's say, a semi hunter, medium hunter, like you're out every two, three weeks, then it will last like two years. Yes. Okay. Very nice to talk to you, Daniel, Thank and you it should much. be interesting to test this. Thank you. Thank
If you want to know more about the products, please comment and I shall do my best to answer questions or point you in the direction where you can find the answers. If you like this product presentation and want to see the other ones I made at EVA, hit the subscribe button and you won't miss anything.